Finding multi-purpose backpacking gear is one of the absolute best hacks out there. This helps you get the most out of your backpacking gear and this can also help you save weight and bulk out of your backpack. And one of my absolute favorite pieces of multi-purpose backpacking gear is a buff or a neck gaiter. This is one of those pieces of gear that absolutely everybody should have with them on every single backpacking trip they go on. My favorite use of a buff is just wearing one around my neck, especially on hot days. I like dipping this in a creek. It's some nice cool water on here and cools off the arteries in your neck. It really helps regulate your body temperature. I also use a buff to keep my ears warm at night. You know, I sleep in a hammock a lot and I use a top quilt so I don't have a hood and I just use this. To... Another way I like to use my buff that I don't think gets mentioned enough is using it as a pre-filter. Instead of just dipping this directly into my water source, I will take my buff and I will put my buff over the opening of that bottle or whatever I'm using to fill water with. And then I will dunk it in and the buff just helps catch some of the bigger debris and particulates and just it's gonna you know help cut down a little bit of what's getting in my water and it's gonna save my filter a little bit in the long run. A foldable sit pad is also one of my favorite pieces of multi-purpose backpacking gear. You just put this down on a log, a rock, right on the ground, whatever. Gives you a nice little insulated cushy spot to sit your butt. These also work really well for fanning a fire. Give your sit pad a little wave. It, uh, it will get your fire going. They are very, very effective at that. If you're a hammock camper, a sit pad like this can help you save some weight out of your hammock setup. I use a partial length under quilt with my hammock setup. So my under quilt only goes to about the back of my calves. So I take my sit pad and I put it inside the foot box of the top quilt that I use and then my heels and my calves rest on top of that and that's what keeps my heels and the back of my legs warm at night so it helps me cut some weight out of my hammock setup. And a lot of the custom ultralight backpacks out there allow you to use your foldable sit pad as the back pad in your backpack. And that is just a couple different ways you can use your, you know, foldable sit pad. I'm sure there are more. And if I have missed any, can you guys let me know in the comment section down below? And if there's any multi-purpose gear that you guys use that I haven't talked about or don't mention in this video, again, let me know in the comments down below. Another less talked about piece of multi-purpose backpacking gear that everybody probably already has in their backpack and they may not consider how many different uses this piece of gear has, and that is your bear hang kit. The most obvious use of the bear line is to hang your food up in a tree. Typically, most people suggest to carry between like a 25 to 30 foot chunk of bear line. Myself, personally, I actually carry a 50 foot chunk. This is two millimeter zing it. If 25 feet is generally what you need to hang your food away from a bear, you know, I've got an extra 20 to 25 feet of just spare cordage. If you're somebody like myself that backpacks with your dog, you can use this to create a dog run. Very, very easy to do. You just find two trees that are, you know, spread a good distance apart without a whole lot of stuff kind of in the middle of the two. You tie your rope off at, you know, around shoulder to eye level and you just kind of string it between those two trees and then you just take your dog's leash or lead and you clip it to that line and then they've got the ability to go back and forth and move around and you know they can still be considered leashed and under control if you're hiking in an area where that kind of control over your dog is required. Another piece of multi-purpose gear that I'm pretty sure most of us are already using or carrying in some way shape or form is a trekking pole. Uh, just having the adjustability on a trekking pole is really really nice. You know you can get different types of handles and they got the nice little wrist straps that really help you get some leverage and you know it really really helps going up Technical, difficult uphill sections and downhill sections, uh, trekking poles are great. I'm sure in a pinch you could uh, use this as self-defense, you know, if uh, you were getting attacked by something, I'm sure you could, you know, poke something or whack something with it. Uh, as I mentioned before, I'm a hammock camper and I use my trekking poles quite a bit to uh, prop one side of my tarp up into porch mode with, you know, really nice, just gets a nice wide open view. One of the benefits of hammock camping, one of my favorite things to do. I can also lay this over top of the ridge line of my tarp and then hook the uh, panel poles from each side of my tarp onto the end of the trekking pole and it just lifts up my tarp and just makes a little bit more livable space underneath the tarp of my hammock. And as is becoming more and more common out on trail, using trekking pole tents and using your trekking poles as your tent poles. This is one of the most common ways that people get multiple functions out of their trekking poles. So this helps cut down a lot of weight and bulk out of your backpack. As you know, traditional tents that have sort of the interlocking pole sections, the poles add a fairly significant amount of the weight to those tent setups. The tent bodies themselves also tend to weigh a little bit less, just uh, the design of most trekking pole tents 
allows for a little bit less fabric to be used so you're saving weight that way and you're saving bulk as well. Now, as I mentioned at the start of this video, saving weight is a big benefit to using multi-purpose backpacking gear. And if you're looking at more ways to save weight out of your backpacking gear loadout, I've got a couple different videos that I've popped in a playlist and I will pop that right here for you. So when you're done with this video, find a video in that playlist. I'm sure you'll find something to enjoy in there. And as always, I'm Maddie. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.